Hi, in this video I will show how to import uh, Mixum FPX files to Modo. Uh, I copied uh, these FPX files in an uh, empty folder and I drag and drop this file to Modo. And I select default options. I ignore warnings. After I import this to Modo, uh, it generates a folder. Now, as you can see, uh, it's 32 megabytes file. Uh, it contains uh, geometry, uh, blend shapes, and uh, animation. Also, the texture files. Uh, Modo extract the texture files here when you import this FPX. Uh, if you select uh, lower resolutions for uh, exporting it to Mixamo, uh, later you can replace these files with uh, higher resolutions. Now in Modo, uh, as you can see, there are some problems. Uh, let's correct this. First, uh, I use render tab uh, in shading panel I select uh, materials tab uh, filter and I select all materials I will use diffuse amount and I will zero specular amount and I will zero reflection amount and here material uh, transport I will zero luminous intensity in texture stop first I will select all RGBA parts because RGBA uh, effect layer is 25 bits in modo uh, it will not show uh, Mixamos uh, or fuse transparency correctly. Uh, I will explain this RGB in a different video. First I change it to diffuse color this uh, recent usage in basic you can select the same diffuse color and uh, I will change this alpha channel to ignore. Uh, I will explain it later then I select all textures and I select blend mode to normal after doing this uh, you can see uh, the character looks better and then uh, I will correct this transparent parts and I select escape uh, to clear selection and then I select filter to now uh, I know hair uses the hair mat materials and first I will zoom in the hair here uh, I will duplicate diffuse color and I change it to transparent amount uh, you can uh, find it in basics transparent amount for alpha channel uh, I select alpha only and then I select invert now you can see here as transparent material when I disable this effect layer uh, you can see there is no transparency it's just solid Yes, this one matter. Also, I will do the same thing for eyelashes. Eyelashes are uh, in different uh, mesh. Uh, I can find its uh, material. Uh, you can select uh, this material selection or uh, click for. When I click this, I can see it's in body material. So it means 
uh, there are some transparent uh, issues in body material so I duplicate diffuse color I change it change it to transparent amount I select uh, alpha only and invert uh, now we cannot see it uh, it's because of UV map I've also explained UV maps in different uh, video so here uh, I will just show what to do in eyelashes uh, material it uses this uh, UV map and in body material also in this uh, diffuse color it uses body diffuse UV layer UV map so uh, there are two different UV maps uh, so uh, we must uh, uh, copy it uh, we must merge them uh, to use it or uh, we should generate a second material for eyelashes uh, we can duplicate this we can rename it Eyelashes material no because this group is for polygon polygon take a body mat uh, we will assign it to different uh, take so I select all polygons for eyelashes and I click M to assign them to a uh, different polygon tag and it will generate uh, this uh, group and I will use polygon tag, uh, new created polygon tag and I will delete this and here for all texture map I will use eyelashes diffuse layer UV map and then in here to render you can see this transparent uh, part also uh, as you can see uh, there is no texture on eyes uh, eyes are in different mesh again I will find its material and I see it's in body material both eyelashes and uh, eyes uh, uses the same material uh, with body but these texture maps can use uh, a unique UV map so again we must uh, duplicate this body mat I call it as eyes material click again no and then I select all polygons and assign so shift I click M nice again it will generate this group I will delete it and here I select polygon tag eyes material uh, although I 
created this uh, you cannot see because the UV map in texture locator I will select ice diffuse UV layer now you can see character uh, correctly Also on rendering, uh, there is one uh, problem. Uh, on directional light, uh, the shadow type ray trace uh, doesn't look good, and I change it to none. And now. Is, uh, this character is uh, ready to uh, optimize in model. 